Ooh, look at that little cut out. Don't we love a new Gillette razor? I'm suing. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel! Hi, how are ya? We're just going to sit down with makeup. Makeup is my happy place. It's where I have been going to find peace, calm, and quietness ever since I was 12 years old. Today I'm gonna try out a bunch of free makeup that I got in the mail from PR. There's some brands that I'm actually a little shook sent me packages. I'm like, oh, I thought you hated me. So we're gonna sit down and do a full face of free makeup. Now, what are we gonna dive into today? There's a lot here, so just uh, come on the journey with me, grab a Red Bull, get some Taco Bell, Postmate some Wendy's Girl, and let's start. It's been a crazy last few weeks um, in my life. Behind the scenes, I have been working on a lot of new releases. Now, remember, I do have a big launch literally this month, you guys. We are still in the month of May, and the first ever Jeffree Star lip gloss formula is coming in literally a few days. May 31st, I will have 18 shades launching. Now, this lip gloss launch has been planned for a really long time, so I'm excited that it's finally here. The reveal video will be up very soon, and then, of course, we have the ultimate summer collection from JSC. Oh my god, like, y'all thought I was playing last summer. This summer, there's not one, but two eyeshadow palettes. Okay, enough tea on my own brand. Let's dive in here, you guys. My skin is feeling like an Hermes Crocodile Birkin, and it needs some moisturizer. So, hi Tatcha, one of my favorite skincare brands on the planet. They have a new moisturizer, the Dewy Skin Cream, bitch. Look at the packaging, it's so amazing. It's like, hi, bougie, extra, everything. You need an instruction manual for your moisturizer? Baby, we got some. Hi, this comes sealed so you know no one's used it before you. I've been using this on my channel for years now. Um, this is basically this and a moisturizer. Okay, so we're just gonna um, get some on our fingers here. Hi, how are ya? Oh, you guys know I live or hate fragrances and this, has such a good aroma to it. It smells so fresh, oh my god. Skin is feeling a little bit better. I'm still bleeding, I'm like, bitch. <laughs> I need more. My skin says, give me, give me, oh, I don't even wanna hum a Britney Spears song. Demonetized, okay. We have the new Glow Recipe, Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Now this, this is $28. It is basically an ultra fine hydrating mist that is 84% watermelon, and then it has hyaluronic acid, hibiscus, and it's supposed to enhance my makeup and refresh my skin. Now, even though I just put some stuff on. I want a little bit more. Are we supposed to shake this? I didn't read the instructions. <gasps> Look at it. Whoa. Okay. Bam. Ooh, that's a geyser mist thing. Okay. <sighs> wow. Oh my God. Mm, it smells so good. I'm like, oh. mm. okay. That uh, retails for $28. There is 2.53 um, fluid ounces in here. That is 75 ml. Um, I love this brand. Remember they have the watermelon sleeping mask that came out a while ago that I've been using for a minute. Love it. Mm, not too tacky, but just the right amount for, for like foundation. I feel like it's very like <sighs> soothing. Now, one last thing, actually from the same brand, Glow Recipe, they have the new Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. Now, when Trend Mood posted this on Instagram, everyone lived for the packaging. So let's see what it looks like in real life. Ooh. <gasps> okay, pineapple. Look at that. Ooh, okay. I thought it was gonna be bigger in person, but it's heavy. It feels good. It's nice and weighty. Um, I see a little dropper here. What is this actually supposed to do? Maybe I don't need this on my skin right now. Reveal poreless, translucent, and illuminated glass skin. Okay, maybe I do need this product. Lightweight, liquid, three types of vitamin C's, 22% pure pineapple juice? Oh my god, okay. It's supposed to give me a glowing, luminous moment. Now, this also retails for $49, okay, Miss Pricey. Whoa, mm, that smells good. Okay, let's just try one drop like that and see what happens. <laughs> okay, ready? Apply one drop onto clean skin and pat, oh mother -fucker. It says gently pat into skin for optimal absorption. Okay. 
So I didn't pat Christian. I definitely uh, flopped. So let me just do a little bit more over here. Does it look shiny compared to this side? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this side's a little dull. Hi, eczema. <laughs> and then over here, it's like, oh. Whew, all right, my skin is looking really glossy, very glass-like. I don't know about $49, but I do feel nice. Now listen, I have no new foundation to try. Can you believe it? No brand has put one out where I was like, girl, I really need to try that right now. So I'm gonna go quickly put on some foundation. I'm definitely going to have some dinner right now. Mm. I asked everyone on Twitter yesterday, like, how is everyone's day? How are we really doing? Don't lie to me, right? A lot of you wrote me some really, really um, deep stuff, and I think a lot of us are going through it. And that's okay, you guys. Remember that anyone that you see on the internet, no one's perfect. Um, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but you guys, Instagram, the internet, like, not everything is as you appear. So if you see someone that is literally happy 24-7, it ain't real. We all go through it. We all have our own life issues, family, health, anxieties. Just remember though, don't let it take over. You really need to remember that. You need to remember to also focus on yourself. I see a lot of people that are so worried about everyone else, which is great, but bitch, sometimes you gotta be selfish. So you guys all know my mom hasn't been doing that great lately. And the other day she was like, Jeffrey, you gotta make sure that you're good too. And I was like, bitch, I'm always worried about everyone else. But you know, mama always knows best. So I don't know why I felt like I had to tell you guys that, but focus on yourself sometimes and realize that that's okay and it's also very necessary. All right, now, besides the coveted Magic Star Concealer, I do have a new concealer I wanna try. This one, it is called the Emotion Proof Concealer. Fitting. <laughs> and it's by Tom Ford, very pricey, but this is supposed to not crease. I don't know what's supposed to happen with this, but it's supposed to be strong. The component is very small. I'm like, how much is in this? 0 0.24 fluid ounces. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, I have an itch. I almost want to try this on one side and then my own on the other, but look at this little component. Ooh, look at that doe foot. Whoa. Let me just do a little bit, because I don't know how full coverage this is supposed to be. Okay, that was a lot. Of course, we're gonna go in with the Morphe Jeffree Star sponge. Let's blend. I wish this concealer was a little lighter, I think, already, but hey, let's see what happens. Hi, Tom Ford. I also wanna say, you guys, that the foundation I put on, it was Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk with Dior Air Flash. On top of that brightening serum and that mist, oh my God, my skin, it's like, it's looking fresh. Okay, concealer shade, not bad. I don't mind it. I think the formula's cute. Definitely see a difference. I'm not like, mind blown, but she's cute. All right, now on this side, I'm gonna go in with a little Magic Star Concealer in shade C5, I know. All robbery jokes aside, I will have a very big restock um, soon. <sighs> I can't believe, that's a good sigh, but I can't believe how well my concealer is doing. It's like kind of mind blowing when you work on something for so long and it's like out in the public and then it's like, hi girl, we live for you, I'm like, I did not expect the response to be this crazy and we have just been growing and growing at JSC. Um, and I could not be more excited, but it does mean I need to ramp up my production some more again and again. So I am really working hard on a restock, you guys. Thank you for being patient. Oh, yes. I just love how my concealer blends. I'm sorry, Tom Ford. No shade, bitch, you're cute, but hi, formula. Ooh, hello, concealer. Okay, we are blended out to filth. Now, it's only fair that we set this skin, honey. We all know Magic Star Setting Powder is out in the world, but I am really excited because one of my friends um, and one of my favorite brands, Beauty Bakery, they just extended their shade range of their own um, setting powders, which is called the Flower Setting Powder. Now, I love this brand. This shade is called Rice. It is supposed to be really brightening, and I cannot wait to try it. So before there's any creasing on this face, Let's set the skin. So here's what the packaging looks like if you've never heard of the brand before. They are sickening, formulas always on point, and packaging always cute. Like other brands, they try to be beauty bakery, 
but it just doesn't happen. Okay, so allegedly, this is gonna be really brightening, so let me take my sponge again. Let me just do one dip, and let's see how we feel. Okay, now I've used their powders before, but I haven't used a shade, so I like to try it on one side of my face just to see how it looks. I'm looking in the monitor. Give it a little second. I'm gonna take my little Morphe brush here, and let's see what happens. Ooh, yes. Concealer is set in place. I love how brightening that is. Cute, cute, cute. What else do we have to try here? Okay, ooh, cheeks. Girl, get on my cheeks. Hi, Joy, how are ya? All right, now, I love this brand. They have a new summer collection out. Now, this is the Cheeky Summer Blush Duo in Hot Coral and Terracotta Sand. Ooh, okay. Let's open her up. Here is what they look like. Ooh, wow, okay, 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 okay. It looks like it has kind of like a sheen to it. Is there pearl? Let me see here. Ooh, that could be really nice, okay. Now, you guys know I live for Jouer. They are friends of mine, and it's actually one of the only websites where you can use a code of mine um, that does go to charity. So if you ever shop with JouerCosmetics.com, you can use code JSTAR at checkout. I know you guys rarely hear me say that, um, but hi, Charity, we live for you. So let me just take this little MAC blush brush, and I'm just gonna dip in, like contour? Maybe we don't even need her today. Let's see what happens. Now, I like their formula because it goes on soft. It isn't like this insane streak where you're like, oh girl, we just went too far. It gives you like time to build and really get it where you want it, which I love. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna dip into this one too now just for a little fun and go into the hairline. Just kind of like a blush contour David Bowie moment. Hi. You know what's crazy? I'm looking at my table. There is no new powder highlighter to put on my face. So I thought, we gotta bust out some glow. Now, look at this PR package, you guys. This is, of course, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is their new body oil. It's a shimmer body oil, high packaging. Now here is what it looks like. It is, of course, a glass bottle. I love anything glowy and shimmery. Also, there is a new brand on the market from the celebrity makeup artist Patrick Ta, and of course this is his own brand. And there is a body oil in it, so I thought it would only be fitting that I try both. This is his Major Glow body oil. Um, here is what they both look like. Now Patrick's has 3.4 fluid ounces, while the Anastasia one is 1.5. So, let's give it a whirl. I'm like, what do I do? I'm, I'm like... It's raining in LA, girl. What am I gonna do? Let's, let's, let me just do it with my hand. Ooh! Oh, wow. Okay. So that is what that looks like. Mmm, very beachy, like vanilla, coconut y. So here's what that looks like. Let's try the flashlight on the iPhone. Whoa, look at the shimmer. Okay, there's with the iPhone light. Hi there. Now on the other side, let's try the Patrick Ta. Okay, now this is in shade A Dream Champagne. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa, that's really glittery too. Now this has more of like a, ooh, it's more candy fruity. Like it smells really good. I'm just gonna take this with my own hands and just, Rub it everywhere. Okay, this one has a little bit of a like less glitter than the Anastasia one, but it really has that wet look. Still has that shimmer to it. Hi, should we just put some right here? Mmm, Patrick Tawan smells so good. Okay, I definitely think this one had more shimmer, so if you want to just have a full-on glitter moment, I mean, knowing me, I'll probably do both, but these are the new body oils on the market. Which one do you guys prefer? Have you tried them? Sound off below. Actually, pump the brakes. I found this from Patrick Ta in the PR kit. It is for the face and it is a major glow highlighting mist. I'm like, whoa. Now this retails for $32. What shade is this? This is called We Need Her, a gold pearl. You can spray it on the face or body designed to fall naturally and seamlessly onto the skin for a light catching glow. Okay, so my cheeks are, of course, sun-kissed, but that's about it. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh! I'm just gonna try this. If I flop, I flop, but hey. Ooh! You guys see that fine kind of... It's soft. Definitely soft. Let me just see how this looks on my, the back of my hand. 
Oh, wow. Okay, whoa! That is really pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I put it over the body glow. I'm deceased. Okay. I'm all. <gasps> there we go. Ooh, it's like that golden sun kiss, just kind of like, ah, uh, fresh out of the ocean, just ready to chill. Wow, impressed, cute. I'm like, I'm going to the beach this weekend, bitch. I need this. Let's dive into the eyes. I'm looking a little barren up here. So, I just opened this up. This is the new NYX collaboration with Aquaria. Yes! Now, Miss Aquaria. Hi, queen. How are ya? She did my makeup on my channel last year. I felt so beautiful. Like, girl. I became her sister, and I had the best time with her. So, congratulations on this um, collaboration. I haven't even opened it yet, so let's open it up together. Together. Okay, so here's the PR kit. Ooh, look at all the stars in there. Let me open her up. Ooh, good morning. Hi, Aquaria. What is in this collaboration? Aquaria eyeshadow palette, $25. Okay, matte lip cream, $750. And then Electro Brights loose pigment, $650. I love that. Okay, here is the eyeshadow palette. Let's open her up. Oh, wow. Hi, 10 shades. Okay, it has a plastic protector so the shadows don't get damaged during the shipping. Here are all 10 shades. Oh wow, <gasps> look at that silver. Okay, we just have to touch it right now. Oh my God, that looks really pretty. Hi. We're gonna do a little look with this. I'll pop a few colors on the eye, see how the formula is. And then also in the PR kit, oh my God, look at these stars, they are everywhere. What is in here? Ooh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, matte lip cream. This is a lipstick that is everything. Okay, so we have the electric brights. Oh wow, yes, this bitch came with the bright colors and weird, I'm living. Let's dive in. First of all, I already put concealer on my eyelids. They're primed, they're cute, they're ready to roll. I wanna dive into this eyeshadow palette. Let's give it a whirl, y'all. Let's take this little Fenty brush. We're gonna dive in right to the white shade. Now there is no mirror in this palette, but bitch, I have my own mirrors. So we're just gonna dab this on the entire lid. Mmm, I love a good matte white shade. This one is going on nice. All right, now, maybe because it's just a blue backdrop and I'm feeling a little oceany, but I really need to dip into this right here. So this needs to go all over my lid, hi. There's what it looks like on the brush. Very bright and minty. Let's pack this on the lid. Now, maybe because that white shade is already down, but usually, I expected like way more pigment, but I did lay down the white everywhere, so let me just use a different packing brush. Okay, now we're packing it on. Now sometimes, you guys, shadows don't like layering on top of each other. This is showing up a little bit better, but I'm like, oh girl, maybe the white, it was like, uh-uh, you can't put shadows over that. It's cute, I'm not living for it right now. Yeah, the white shade, maybe like, you know how it is when you lay things down and the shadows are like, oh no ma'am. I'm not sure, but let me just try this over here without doing the first step and let's see what happens if I just pack it into the crease. Okay, this shadow is not my favorite. She's a little dusty the house. So I'm gonna take my finger and I really wanna see this weird kind of icy transformer shade. Okay. I'm like, come on, Transformer. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so you just gotta layer that. Obviously, you could probably use a wet brush. I just love packing metallics on with my finger. I think it goes on nice if your nails aren't too long. Ooh, okay, high little sparkle. There we go. Now, hmm. I'm gonna do like a sweep of color underneath my eye. So I'm gonna take my own highlighting brush from Morphe. I'm gonna dip into this yellow. I love Aquaria because her makeup is always Stunning, blended to filth, but also a little abstract. Like if she was here, I feel like she would take this yellow and do like a weird under type of thing. So let me just take the yellow and do that. Okay, I don't know if NYX is trying to play Aquaria with this formula, but baby, it's not sticking to my skin the best. Girl, that is sheer the house. All right, feeling like a pastel fantasy. Um, okay, now I have two mascaras here, you guys. I'm dying to try them. They've been sitting here for uh, a week now. I got them in PR, of course. Hi, Laura Mercier, how are ya? Now this is the new Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara. 
I feel like mascaras always have these crazy names. I think I'm gonna try this mascara on one eye and then this other Tom Ford on the other. Okay, so here's what the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume looks like. Cute packaging. Let's look at the wand. That's what matters. Oh. Ooh, it spirals. Hmm. Smells like mascara. Ooh, almost like a little black licorice under there. Interesting. Tom Ford also has the new Extreme Badass Mascara. Here's the packaging. Let's open her up. Fully chromed out, which means you're getting fingerprints everywhere already. Oh, wow. That brush head is a little underwhelming, but let's give it a whirl. All right, Laura Mercier, don't fail me, girl. You guys, there's been a lot of PR happening. Like, there's so much free makeup coming. So I'm gonna try out a lot of stuff, you guys. But a lot of the times, there's been a few brands that have shaded me and then they'll send me PR and be like, hi, will you please try this out? And I'm like, girl, everyone knows behind the scenes kind of like everything in LA. So I'm like, if you really don't fuck with me, don't try to get me to pump your brand up or try it out if you really don't like me. You feel me? Okay, real quickly, this is a cute mascara. Like, I didn't know what to expect. But I'm like, huh. And I haven't even dunked this in again. This is just one dunk. Whoa, I actually really like the wand. Hi, hair clip. You're going over here for a second. <laughs> Let's try the badass mascara. I don't know how I feel about that name. Kind of smells very similar. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. This one's actually coating it really well as well. What do you think, Chris, when I look? I think this one has more it's like more full. Yeah, it's like a deeper. Yeah, like this one's more kind of like fanned out and more feminine, and this is more fuller and thicker, which I actually don't mind either. I thought I was gonna like really hate one. I don't know why I thought that. My gut was like, be careful, bitch. I think I like the Tom Ford one better. No shade, I really do. Let me do the bottoms and we'll see who tops best. Whoa, 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 sorry. Okay, I was a little shook. It looks really pretty. I kind of like that fuller, kind of more spidery look, if you will. Let's see how this one is. Whoa, for bottoms, this one feels weird. This one's definitely cute, but look at the Tom Ford one. It's giving me exactly what I need. Okay, I forgot I got this new PR kit from Urban Decay in the mail. This is the Sparkle Out Loud. They are celebrating um, all month of June, of course, is Pride Month for the LGBTQ community. And this is Urban Decay's little moment. It's actually a big moment. There's a lot here. So in the PR kit, let's take this off. Full blown glitter ensemble. Okay, we have new glitter eyeliners, glitter gel, and glitter, maybe glitter glide on eye pencils. Oh my God, and gloss ultras. Okay, whoa, look at that color, that's wild. By the way, Urban Decay, this packaging is really cute. So many brands have glosses coming out, obviously including my own. Every brand will have their, oh, look at this, like a watermelon glitter. Their own formula, their own scent, their own everything, and I just love lip gloss. The heavy metals I've been using for about 10 years now, so gold mine, starfire. Ooh, I gotta see what that color looks like. Don't try me. Ooh, that's pretty, okay. We have studio stone wall. Is that really red? I'm gonna die. Whoa, not for my look today, but that's duh. Ming. <gasps> Disco daydream, bitch. This might be it. Ooh. Get on my lids. Where's my mirror? I'm gonna put this right over the other glitter. Oh, wow. Now with these, you guys, you really gotta dunk in and kind of layer lightly. And you'll get that intensity. You just gotta be patient. Or, cute trick, take out this black stopper and the product will come out a lot easier. Ooh, okay. That glitter took it to the next dimension. I love it. So Urban Decay, thank you so much. Now, I have so many glosses to talk about. I wanna make this a little short, but hi. Stila, new PR kit in the mail. Stila has always been a brand that has never been scared of Jeffree Star, and I really appreciate that. Um, for years now, they've always supported. So thank y'all, I really um, live for you. Oh, look at this PR package. Sickening, I live for it. Okay, now they have a bunch of new glosses. It is a new formula. It is the Beauty Boss lip gloss. And oh my God, look at this blue sky color. <gasps> look at that. Oh my God. Okay, we're trying her. Pink slip. Ooh, the packaging feels expensive and heavy. Okay, so Stila has a new gloss out. Who else has one, y'all? Patrick Ta, of course. He just launched his entire brand, so that's why I'm mentioning him again. He has new Major Glow glosses 
and oh my god, Le Mer, the bougiest of them all. They have the new lip volumizer. This is like $85, and I'm like, for a lip gloss? For a lip gloss? For a lip gloss? This better pay my electricity and gas bill. <gasps> oh, but the packaging. <gasps> It fell on the PR kit. Thank you, Stila. Oh, I thought I broke it. Look at this magic. Oh my God. What is this even supposed to do? I have no idea, but we're trying it right now. This is like one universal shade, kind of like a Fenty moment, but not. Oh, wow. Look at that tip. Mmm, very minty. Reminds me of old Urban Decay gloss, actually. Oh, wow. It's just... Glossy, okay, interesting. $85, work? <laughs> now, overprice the house. Let's see the Patrick Ta one. This is in shade, she's expensive. I love his packaging, very cute. Mmm, smells kind of like the Le Mer one, actually. Ooh, okay, I see way more glitter in this one, which obviously the Le Mer one was not supposed to have glitter. That one looks cute, very glossy. And then, I have to try this. I know I have foundation over my lips, you guys, but this shade, Blue Sky, Whoa. <gasps> ah. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's pretty. Holy shit. Okay, it feels a little gritty, but not too much. Like, not like sandpaper, but a little gritty. I think because the, the micas of glitter is like, oh yeah, it's big. Okay, this is really cute. I know it's not for the everyday person, but it should be. Okay, if this one is that pretty, I have to swatch this one really quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, this is like turning me on. <gasps> oh, wow. I know it's hard to see you guys because of the beauty lights and sparkle doesn't always show off the best, but that is really pretty. Okay, Stila, you, you may have done that, bitch. You may have done that. Wow, okay, gloss. You know what came with the Patrick Ta um, PR kit? This fan. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this on Snapchat, but look at this. I know so <laughs> a lot of influencers were showing this off. I haven't used it yet. I think it's really cute. I don't have a new setting spray to try, so hi, Morphe. We're just gonna go in with you, Miss Thing. Mm. Hi, how are ya? I'm not Mariah Carey. Let's talk. I am feeling mentally good. I think just sitting down and playing with makeup just gets me back to my center. Um, so thank you guys for all hanging out with me today. I have a few thoughts. There's a few things here that are actually kind of like necessary. I'm looking in the monitor and I really am surprised at how much I like this mascara. Component did not wow me, but the formula, um, really good. I love how this looks. Look at that, yeah, it's way more thicker right there. So this mascara is cute. I really liked it. Hi, dude. Hey, baby. <laughs> what do you think of my look? What stands out to you when you look at my face in the monitor? I mean, your lips are fucking popping. <laughs> yes. A new Stila. Oh, wow. Really pretty, huh? Yeah, it's like, looks like some galaxy. Mm -hmm. so. It's called Blue Sky. Blue Sky. There's a lot of stuff here. I had a lot of fun. I think the Jouer blush was really cute. This, oh, this watermelon moisturizer for your skin. Okay. Look at this. I mean, I it looks cool. It looks appealing. Glow recipe. Glow cool. Uh-huh. Hi. Ready for some? It has real watermelon juice in the formula. Damn, this smells so good. <laughs> Shit. How do you feel? Really good. Excuse me, I was just eating like some cheese balls. Oops. Mm. Wow, that really smells good. Okay, I love you. All right. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, you guys. There's a lot here. There's there's a few things that weren't necessary. I want to try this Le Mer gloss, but girl, the price, I'm like, we need to have a talk. There's nothing that I really hated. I definitely thought the Aquaria palette was going to be a little better. Um, NYX shadows. Hi, what's happening? Let's talk. Besides that, Patrick Ta stuff is really cool. Tom Ford concealer was cute. Definitely a little pricey. Like, girl, we could go to e.l.f. We don't need her. No shade to Tom, but... All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's full face of free makeup. Sound off below, what did you love? What did you hate? And what do you want me to try in the future? Because there are so many things coming up. So saddle up, it is going to be an amazing rest of the year and I am so excited for summer. Mwah. Bye guys.